Yeah. Upper limb prosthesis users generally want to see improvements in, in control as well as comfort, but there's also a component of sensory feedback that users are interested in. So these pain sensors that we've made go over the fingertips of the prosthesis and they can detect both touch and pain. We're calling the device we made an e-dermis, so an electronic dermis. And what's particularly interesting is that we're able to detect, say, object curvature. And so we can differentiate between something that's nice and rounded versus something that's very sharp and pointy. And that's what lets us be able to differentiate between something that's painful or not. And so with the sensory feedback, we can provide um, natural sensations to the phantom hand of an amputee. And this is really important because it's taking one more step closer to having a lifelike upper limb prosthesis. Can you see it towards yourself? No, I can stand up with it. So it's really important that we can capture all components of, of our sense of touch, not just pain, but things like texture and, and temperature. And so moving forward, we're gonna look at how you can provide sensations of more than just pain back to an amputee.